Kayla, Sean, how you doing today? It's Eric with Continental Express. Continental Express. All right, what's going on with you, my bro? Oh, nothing. Just uh, enjoying this nice cold weather we're getting here in Ohio. Oh, okay. That so, time of the year. So, uh, <laughs> so Continental Express. You you guys is located in Ohio. Yeah, our main office is in Sydney, Ohio, which is about 45 minutes north of Dayton, right off of 75. Okay, um, okay. Myself, I'm down at our uh, uh, Columbus terminal. You say you I said I was, I was uh, down here in Columbus, Ohio, uh, man in this terminal. Okay, so the Columbus terminal is the, is the main terminal? Like, if I was to come in for orientation and all like that, I would come down to Columbus? That would be Sydney, Ohio, is where the main office is at. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So how long have you guys been in existence? Now, I've seen, uh, I, since I've been out here, you know, for six years, I, I've been seeing y'all trucks for, you know, for quite a while. So how, how long have you guys been in existence? Yeah, Russ, our uh, our owner, he started the company back in 1986, I believe it was, um, with like four trucks out of Sydney. And then I think right now we're probably about 475 drivers on our roster um, across, I guess, all of our states and terminals that we have. So been around for a little while now, um, and we're continuing to grow as well. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, what do you guys got to offer? Well, uh, Kayla said that you're uh, all the way up there in uh, Painesville, Ohio, correct? Uh, I'm out. I, I'm technically in Cleveland, but yeah, my my residence is out of Ohio, uh, Painesville. Okay. Yeah. Um. I mean, pretty much with anything up there. I mean, our closest drop lot is down in Canton. Um. We don't run any. Uh, we don't have any local spots out of there. So, I, th I think pretty much all we would have to offer would be. Um, like a home weekly OTR regional type of run. Oh, okay, okay. Do you guys not only not do you guys not only hire uh out of Ohio, but do you guys hire do y'all have a higher radius that y'all hire out of or do you hire out of, out of all 48? Um pretty much you got to be somewhat close to I guess where our lanes run mostly and then also we you know where the closest terminal would be. I mean we got terminals in uh Fort Worth, Texas, Danville, Virginia, Louisville, Kentucky, Gaffney, South Carolina, Indianapolis, Columbus, um Fishersville, Virginia as well. So uh, and also uh, Portland, Oregon, we got a small little place out there. Okay. Um but main mainly what we run is, you know, the Midwestern states. Right. Um, down to the southeast and then, you know, parts of Texas. And those Texas drivers, they, they usually head out to uh, California a little bit. Um, but we do have some runs that uh, go straight from uh, Ohio out to Salt Lake City and back. So pretty much just running I-80 um, exclusively on that sense. Oh, okay. Too. What about uh, what, what about Minnesota? Do you guys uh, touch up there? I'm looking – I got this – Big old TV in our office with uh, pretty much a, a, a dot in Wisconsin. I don't see any trucks up in uh, up in Minnesota, so I don't think that we get up that way too often. Could so let's just say if I started to drive for you guys, you know, you bring me in, I go through the vetting process, and I'm I'm mm -hmm. driving. Would I be able to request, uh, say, like home time up in the Minnesota area? Uh, that would be something I would definitely want to check with planning on to see, like, hey, where would our closest, you know, drop point be? How far away is it? You know, uh, may depend also, you know, like how long you're staying out. I mean, 90% of our drivers want to be home on a weekly basis. Yeah. So that's really how we've molded our business, too. I mean, we're not forcing anybody to be out there for three, four weeks at a time. I mean, okay. <laughs> we, we, we wouldn't be keeping any drivers if we said, hey, you got to go out and just be away, you know. Exactly. <laughs> keep, exactly. keep paying your rent and don't even stay there. <laughs> Exactly. So. That's what's up. All right. Well, how much uh, how much experience you guys is looking for? Um. Well, I mean, we take on new CDL holders, uh, but it, if you probably have like I don't know ten months or less ex total experience, mm -hmm. then we would have to go through some type of training. And being out of you know the Cleveland area, mm -hmm. that's where it may be you know say hey, okay, well, what kind of training options do we have? for a trainer to possibly pick you up because we only have a trainers out of a few different facilities mm -hmm. um, that could, you know, take on that type. So uh, how much experience do you have um, total so far? Well, no, I, I, I got six, but I'm just asking general because the information, okay. 
you know, the information that I'm getting is just not for myself, but also for my network as well. I'm I'm in a CDL group. So, you okay. know, I bring gotcha. I, I bring back all the, you know, bring back all the good information that you guys relay over to me and I take it back with me mm-hmm. and I give it, you know, give, give it, give them the opportunity to go over what you guys got to offer, too. Uh, OK, yeah. All right. So the uh, so let's talk about the pay. So somebody that's coming in, uh, what you just said, with less than six months versus a guy like myself with six years. What will be the pay difference? What would I come in at and what would they come in at? Well, anybody starting off with us that does come on with experience, uh, we start them off at 52 cents per mile. Um, and they also have a couple bonuses that they can get, which would be another cent per mile, whether it's our quarterly safety bonus or a weekly fuel bonus. Um, all drivers across the board qualify for our annual employment bonus, which is another cent per loaded mile that you ran the entire previous year. So if it's your year anniversary, you're probably looking at, you know, another thousand to twelve hundred dollar uh, bonus check on that year anniversary. Oh, okay. Now when it comes to new CDL holders, you know, we what we consider some experience is uh probably three months or more is some experience. So anybody coming on as a new CDO holder, they do have, we're, uh, uh, I guess, a progressive pay system with them. So while somebody's in training with us, it's $500 a week while you're in training. Mm-hmm. Then it goes to $0.42 cents in your first 30 days solo. Mm-hmm. After your first 30 days up to your year anniversary, is $0.47. Cents. Once you hit the year, you go up to $0.53 cents per mile. And then any experience driver that comes on, once they hit year as well, goes up to uh, up to uh, fifty three with their uh, raise. All right, so uh, so the guys uh, with experience, such as myself, uh, I'll come in at fifty three cent across the board. Uh, fifty two to start off with, oh, but you have a chance for yeah for a couple other bonuses. We can each hit the fifty four to fifty five cents. All right, in that first year. Uh, now you guys run reefer. Right, or at least Correct. that's what I thought. These the, the, what the trailers look like. They they are reefer trailers, right? Yeah, majority of our uh, trailers are reefers. We do have some dry vans that we haul around, but uh, reefer is the majority of the freight. All right. So, what would be what what would be the detention time looking like? Like I I know, I, and I'm just assuming. I I don't know if if Walmart is one of you guys' clients, but. I know I, I I've been at some places that can pretty much hold us up extensively. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Let me pull that uh, our pay contracts up here to to get you that correct information. I mean, we do. Uh, I mean, a lot of our customers, uh, Dole, Nestle, Dannon, um, other you know, pretty established customers like that. So we do go to like I know out of Columbus here with Abbott Nutrition, mm-hmm. we'll head out to uh, to Wintersville, Ohio. Um, drop, you know, at a Walmart down there or a Walmart distribution center down like Washington Courthouse, too. Mm-hmm. Um, but a lot of a lot, pretty much most of our stuff is all drop and hook. Okay. Um, so the, the detention after two hours, um, it's 150 max. Uh, we're looking at uh, 15. OK. 15 bucks for detention pay. All right. All right. What uh, what benefits do you guys offer? Uh, health insurance, dental, vision, that all kicks in after 90 days. If a driver is looking for, uh, OTR driver is looking for health insurance for themselves and they are a non-smoker, it is free of charge for you. So oh. it doesn't cost you anything. Oh, okay. All right. That's what's up. Um, all right. So we, we, we talked about home time. Um, you, you're, you're a company that wanted to at least get us home on, uh, by, on, on, on or by the weekend. Uh, so is that me coming in Friday and leaving back out Monday? If somebody were to leave out on a Monday morning, I mean, we're looking at, you know, five, five and a half days, whatever, you know, schedule we're on for that, uh, I guess, the loads of that week. What we want to do is make sure everybody's getting home for their 34-hour reset 
um, at home. So it could be if you leave out on a Monday, you could be getting back Friday evening. You could be getting back Saturday morning, but you're going to be home for your for your reset each and every week. Okay. All right. What? Uh, what? I'm not going to say it's going to be you know straight five days and that's it. I mean, mm-hmm. y- y- you know how many variables there are out there on the road exactly. or at uh, DCs and whatnot. So I mean, that's just what we try to plan on. And if we got to lay a load somewhere to get somebody home have another driver relay that, then, you know, we'll do what we can um, when it comes to, I guess, moving all the uh, the checker pieces across the board. Okay. What about, uh, what, what trucks do you guys have available? What equipment and what are they governing that? We drive Freightliner Cascadias. Um, we do have a mix of automatics and manuals. Um, most of our manuals, we kind of, I guess, uh, push towards our local drivers. Um, so that way, if an OTR driver wants to have an automatic, uh, they can get the kind, you know, the truck that they would prefer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'd say we don't have any trucks that are over five years old. I mean, all of our older trucks, they do get, I guess, demoted down to a local type just because, you know, they're getting home daily, not as much wear and tear and stuff like that. So, um, all right. and then I believe the trucks start off governed at 64. Um, and then after, I guess, some good safety, uh, you know, good safe driving out there you're going to eventually get it it could get it up to 67 okay okay uh are we able to take the trucks home if you have secure parking either uh at your place or maybe like a local business friend or something like that Mm -hmm. um you know at least for the tractor yeah our drivers home um but you know our owner with us owning all of our own trucks he's very particular on where the truck is going to be parked um, he's not a, too big of a fan of uh, rest stops or uh, truck stops and stuff like that just because, I mean, if you've been around them, you know, people don't know how to back up still, <laughs> even if they get the license. So it that could be, you know, we're ripping off a bumper here or smacking a mirror there. So, yeah, um, you yeah. know, as long as there's like secure parking that we can kind of verify, um, you know, we, we will look into that and, you know, try to make it as easy as possible. So that way, hey, if you're getting home, you know your 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 chariot's right there, ready to go once your uh, once your brake is up. Exactly, driver facing cameras. Yes, we have inward and outward facing cameras, and I know this is always a, a hot topic when it comes to uh, comes to I guess people's preferences and stuff. Very um, much so. There is one guy, Andrew, in our company. He he handles all of the I guess reviewing of uh, of the cameras. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not on a live stream. Um, you know, an, an event or something has to be triggered um, by the computer system for us to go back and look through a video, unless it's some sort of like accident investigation type of stuff. Right. And, you know, that's what cameras are good because, you know, somebody, you know, brake checks you or pulls out in front of you. Now we have the video evidence to cover our butts, you know, when it comes to whatever charges or, you know, insurance payouts are, are handling there. Um, but the inward facing cameras only, I guess, come on when the truck is in motion. Um, mm-hmm. and it's only if that event is triggered. Um, but it will come down to, I mean, whether it's like, Hey, you know, this, uh, violation came up or we see this happening, you know, it's all meant and, you know, good, safe coaching to help our drivers, mm-hmm. you know, unless there's an egregious thing going on or something else it's like okay you know bad habit after bad habit after bad habit you know we're not looking to you know fire drivers over you know what may be seen you know what's happening but i mean we also pass out you know driver stars for good defensive driving techniques and stuff as well that do get picked up with the uh, with the system and everything else so i mean it's a yeah it's a it's it's very tight to the vest when it comes to, you know, the privacy, the legality of anything that is being watched over. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's something that we take extremely seriously because, I mean, that's just, it, it's, it's where a lot of the trucks are going to. But at the same time, you know, I wouldn't want somebody just watching in over me here in my office with what I'm doing every single day. Not that I'm doing anything wrong. It just, you know, I don't want that to be happening. So, you know, privacy is a, is a big deal and we need to treat it as such and we do. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, we already talked about the lanes. You you pretty much uh, run a little bit of down south uh, and majority of the uh, of the Midwest. But uh, do you guys run the Northeast? And if y'all do, do y'all pay extra for going up there? We don't go into the Northeast, and we never go into New York City. Awesome. I yeah, I think about the farthest up we'll get. I mean, we we, we got a. <laughs> 
<laughs> we, we got a place over a uh, cold storage facility. We run some stuff to um, out in like Allentown, mm-hmm. uh, Pennsylvania. So we get over that way a little bit, maybe down to Delaware for some uh, dull banana loads and whatnot. But uh, I mean, we ain't going any farther than that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, is there a sign on bonus? For experienced drivers, there is a $2,000 sign on bonus. Um, for any OTR trainees coming on, there's a thousand dollar sign on bonus. How is it paid out? Five hundred dollars goes on to the week of orientation that you show up for, and then every ninety days after that, another five hundred dollars is paid out till it's uh, paid out in full for the two thousand. All right. right, all right. Well, you know, do do you guys um do you guys off now? You say you offer training for new drivers that's coming in. But do you guys offer CDL uh, CDL options for drivers that don't have their CDLs? We currently have a CDL school out of our Indianapolis terminal right now. Um, I believe it's like a three- or four-week uh, process over there that seems to be filled up every single time that we start a new class. Mm-hmm. Um, so over there, we get people into their CDLs, test them, um, and then they come on to us as an OTR driver for you know the next year. Um, so that's our only option there when it comes to other places or facilities of, you know, sponsoring CDL scores, anything like that. We do not do that. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Now, you you know, there's, uh, well, I don't know if you, if, if you up on it or anything like that, but, uh, you know, as of February 7th, the CDL requirements is changing. How would that affect, uh, if any, uh, anybody that's interested in getting their CDLs uh, coming in through to y'all school would that would that would that be effective more or less? Do you think what what changes are happening? Because I haven't heard about this. Uh, well, uh, it, it, they the FMCSA is now requiring that all schools be accredited, be uh, certified. Uh, all the drivers can't just all the drivers can't just, you know, okay, yeah, go to yeah. their grandfather and get grandfathered in no more. They got to actually have some, yeah. you they know. They can't just uh, go go to the school of YouTube and learn how to do a pre-trip and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think uh, this came up in the last place I worked at because we used to get a bunch of drivers into uh, the Class B CDL and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. as long as you have, an, like, I believe, an accredited uh, instructor, and you actually have, you know, documentation of a training program, then you're going to be meeting your requirements by the DOT with that type of stuff. So, you know, if you have the training program in place, you know, everything is documented, um, then, you know, the school essentially becomes, you know, accredited that way because you have a, you know, a CDL trainer, a whole training process and program involved. Um, So as long as somebody, I mean, if somebody's coming in with their CDL as of right now, you know, today, November 2nd, I mean, we have our own minimum driver hiring requirements mm-hmm. and stuff. So we will keep following that until I hear differently. So, you know, okay. if somebody's already got their CDL, boom, you know, let's uh, see what else, you know, we need to check over or, uh, you know, check off the list. All right. Well, you know what? I appreciate the time, man. Thank you very much for going over my questions. I really do appreciate it. Uh, one last question. Hair follicle or urine? Urine. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Need to get a ding for that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it was really nice, too, when we do our orientation in Sydney. Um, we do all of our uh, pre-employment drug screens um, at the medical building right beside the hospital where it gets processed. So we actually get those test re- results back the very next day. It's like the quickest turnaround I've ever seen for a you know DOT drug test result. Mm-hmm. So we get those results back, and then the driver can leave orientation with their assigned truck to uh, you know to head out. So I mean, it really cuts down on the wait time um, for getting that stuff back. So that's something I've been thoroughly impressed with is just you know the turnaround time for those tests and just being able to uh, to get drivers into their truck. All right, that's what's up. Well, again, man, thank you very much for reaching back out to me and uh, going over uh, going over what you guys have to offer. Again, thank you very much. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, share this out with my uh, with my group CDL uh, careers on Facebook and my uh, and the rest of my social media network. Um, I'll go ahead and share that out, and uh, hopefully, uh, and I'll keep this in my back pocket as well. Uh, hopefully, uh, we, we, we can get some, uh, 
good drivers for you, man. Okay, I mean, what, do you have like an administrative role with this uh, Facebook group? Are they paying you? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you ought to negotiate I, something. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, 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 you know, I, I've been, I've been doing this for quite a while. I, I got a large following. You know, mm-hmm. a lot of, you know, I, I get a lot of guys that come in through, uh, through my school that I went to, uh, years ago, uh, Tri C Trucking Academy. You know, I, I still got people that call me up and just say, hey, you know, I'm getting my CDLs, you know, and the all time question is, what's the best company to go with? So, you know, I, yeah. I you know, I uh, me and, you know, uh, a couple of other guys got together and, you know, we, we started a Facebook group, you know, for people to come in, you know, to promote their companies and all like that. And, you know, and I started, you know, and I started talking about, you know, all the companies that I talked to, you know, companies that I talked to had has a lot of success from, you know, from me spotlighting the company or or promoting the company or just mentioning the company. They'd be like, oh, well, you know, LaShawn Lockout Man talked to these 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 companies and, you know, and, you know, that, that, that it's just something that I like to do. That's good. I mean, I know that, I mean, always since I, I mean, I started driving a box truck when I was like 18 and stuff like that and been in it ever since. And always the best form of, you know, getting people on board is just, you know, word of mouth. I mean, if if you can, you know, get out there and say, Hey, this is good. This is bad. I mean, you're going to be able to, you know, just have that type of uh, influence over, you know, what people do. And I mean, if, if the word gets out there, I mean, bring them on the more the merrier you know <laughs> that's you know and and again that's in that's what i like to do i mean I, I i wish i had somebody you know when i came into the game six years ago mm-hmm. um i wish i had somebody I hey, could watch out for this company exactly. or maybe look towards this company or exactly. like hey if we're looking at this size you know don't get too you know don't be in a mega carrier because mm-hmm. you know they won't know they won't know LaShawn from you know Joe down the road, you know. So it's like, <laughs> so yeah, like I said, you know, it's just it's 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 a win it's it's a win win for the company because you know, like if I if if I if I reach out to you because the questions that I got are the questions that's that's you know everybody like new, that everybody has you know like when new drivers like when I get like when I get the new drivers that reach out to me again from Tri C, uh trucking academy um when they when they reach out to me they 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 be like well you know i got so many questions and i'm just afraid to ask because you know they'll call up a a recruiter and they they'll probably end up with one of those recruiters that just oh okay i just want to just get you in the seat and mm-hmm. move on you know so with with them getting in i mean with them getting in good with me you know I from all the experience that I got, I know what to ask, and you know, I and I can see. Like, I'm not going to be blowing smoke up anybody's tailpipe here. It's going to be, you know, this is the the truth of it. Exactly, exactly. So, but yeah, yeah man, I learned that a long time ago. I mean, I'm I'm not one to sell hope, to sell false promises. At the end of the day, if it's like, hey, this is good for you, no hard feelings. Let's, let's not waste each other's time. But I'm not gonna. You know, go out there uh, giving false hope to somebody just to uh, just to get a, uh, a seat filled. It's just uh, I don't know. It, it, it's just not worth it to be dishonest. You, you have to be upfront and honest because all you guys out there, you know, driving the trucks, you're you're doing everything you can for the entire country. Which you know, I preach that to all my family, friends, anybody I see all the time. Like, listen, you don't have nothing if we don't have truckers out there. So That's they so have earned all of the respect that we can give them, and we need to. Uh, you know, keep them motivated, happy, you know, doing whatever we can for them because it's, uh, <laughs> this country was shut down without you guys for sure. And I, you know what? I appreciate the, the, the Ackerman, man. Thank you very much yeah. for, for saying that. Thank you very much. And again, you know, like I said, for, for, again, for me doing this, what I've been doing for years 
it builds, you know, it, it builds not only friendships, but also build relationships. Everybody mm-hmm. that everybody that I talk to, uh, everybody that I talk to, you know, from the schools to the companies can, you know, like when people is coming into this industry and they looking for a particular company, they can rely on they can rely on me to give, you know, to give that uh, that value that they looking for as far as coming yeah. into a company. So if uh, Continental Express, you know, after after I talk to you, somebody will come across, you know, somebody will come across the information and be like, oh, well, I've been looking at that company for X amount of time. And now that I know what they got to offer, maybe I'll go ahead and pick up the phone and, and call your, what's your name? Eric. Oh, I'll pick up the phone and call Eric. And and I know that he's not going to blow smoke up up my butt because he talked to he he talked to LaShawn lockout man and I know that I'm going to get the good you know get the good information that he gave him I know I'm going to get the same information and then yep boom you 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 got a new driver so so yeah man yeah man so again like hey, I said there, I do appreciate one last it. thing that you yeah there's one last thing you didn't uh have a question about that I want to bring to your attention. Oh, okay. You didn't ask about vacation time for OTR drivers. <laughs> Usually I do. I I, I pretty much, <laughs> you know, I, I, I pretty much figured that, See, you know, we're like not I, getting I, paid to do this. I figured we get a vacation <laughs> after the first year anyway. But go ahead, break it down for me. OTR and regional drivers are given four weeks of paid vacation. So after 90 days, you get to choose a week to take off, and then you receive one week paid vacation every 90 days after that. So you can't use them consecutively, but you don't got to wait around a year to get four weeks of paid vacation for us. Oh. You just got to wait 90 days. Okay. Pick a week, another 90 days, pick a week. Okay. And, you know, I, I was like what happened, like, you know, with the whole pandemic and stuff, I heard that there were some OTR drivers, like, last year, they had, you know, vacation scheduled. Things got canceled. Right. They decided to run. Well, they ran that week. They were supposed to be getting off, but they got their paid vacation plus the miles they ran that week. So if somebody really wants to, you know, earn some money, then, you know, there could be the opportunity for them there as well. Okay. But, now, yeah, I mean, it's uh, there's, there's four weeks of home time every 90 days. So that way, I mean, from my perspective, I think it just helps out with, you know, maybe some of the burnout um, that might come along with, you know, just being out there every single week, every week of the year. So, you know, uh, all right. So what home, about so R&R, what about, you're good. So, so what about this? Since you said I forgot about uh about about the vacation. What about leasing? Okay. Do you guys offer do you guys offer any type of lease purchase ten ninety nine? No, we do not do that. Oh, okay. Um I mean there might be but when it comes to leasing we do not have a program for that. All right. That's what's up, man. Well, again, Eric, man, thank you very much. Uh, if you want, um, if you like, I can, uh, you know, I, I can, I can leave the contact information. If you, if you like the people to get in contact with you directly, or if you just want the main number. Main number would be fine. I mean, just because like with, with how I guess you know maybe spread out your network might be a little bit or where we are located. I mean, yeah, my my network oh, I was, I was my, my network is vast. To, to work out those specifics. Yeah, my network is my my network is vast, and I understand that you guys is like yeah. uh, being from Ohio because I uh, you know I'm out of Ohio and you guys only higher in a certain radius, so that's understandable though. But <laughs> yeah, but I I do got some uh, Ohio connections too, so. Okay, good deal. All righty then, brother man. Thank you very much. I, I and I didn't even realize you guys was out of Ohio. I, like I said, I've been seeing y'all trucks all these years, and I I always thought that y'all was like out from abroad. But come to find out that, yeah, it's it's a lot of Ohio companies, man. So definitely, I I love yep, uh are, I love promoting. we are big enough but small enough. Yes, you sir. Know? I love promoting Ohio companies because that's where I'm from. <laughs> now, are you a Browns fan from meeting up around there in Cleveland? Uh, for sure, for sure, bro. 
for I'm even good. even <laughs> even when we went even when we went zero and sixteen, still man, yeah, you, I was you, there. you get out. Gotta be. I was a Browns fan when Art Modell ripped out my little ten year old heart back in ninety five. Oh, pff, bro. <laughs> I, and I, I still can't. I, and I still remember the day they they was here Sunday, oh. they was here Sunday, and then I think it was either that Monday or Tuesday. Art Modell was in the podium at, in Baltimore. Yeah. So May, Mayflower moving vans, I believe they were. Yes, sir. They 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 moved moved uh over that uh, from what I understand and from what I uh and from the stories I heard. They after that last game, they moved everything out, and they they was in Baltimore the next uh, the next couple of days. So, what a what a piece of garbage that guy was. Uh, well, I mean, from a bit. Well, yeah, he was an asshole, but come on, bro. <laughs> from a from a business point of view, I mean, Cleveland really wasn't doing. Anything for him? I mean, the gun got a new got got their new arena, and yeah, Jacobs got they got they new. Uh, yeah, and they're still you, you, you yeah. know, playing down at Old Municipal, and they're like, "Hey, right. you know, right. <laughs> we so gotta bro gotta get here, something better." Right, bro, over here, like, okay, everybody else got new facilities. What what about us? So, you know, Baltimore came around. It was like, yo, we'll build you a new, you know, new this, that, and the third and give you this, that, and the third. So, yeah, you know, like I said, from a business point of view, you you you, you can't help but what he did. But as from a fan point of view, yeah, that that was a that yeah. that was a <laughs> that was a that was a, a B move. So Always but, hard to separate the two, you know, business from personal or mm-hmm. from your own fandom. I mean Heck, been been loving the Browns for too long to uh, to even care about some of the business things. Just just get a good product on the field. That's all I care about. Let's let's go. Well, they 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 doing it, man. They 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 showed that they can do it last year. You know, with good management, mm-hmm. uh, good coach, and they they showing that they yeah, yeah they they showing that they doing it this year too. So hopefully before I die. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, was, I used to say it to my dad all the time too. I'm like, Dad, you ain't getting any younger. Yeah, I don't know. Ho- if it's gonna hopefully, for you. hopefully before I die. You know, I mean, Art Modell got two of them before he died. So come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you all the you know the 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 greatest health in the world to stick around as long as it takes. That's um, what's up. For, for us to for us to get what we need, all right. <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much, sir. You take it easy and you stay safe out there. Yep, you too, Sean. Good talking to you. Appreciate it. All right now. Yep. Bye bye. Continental Express, y'all. What do you guys think of that call right there, man? Beautiful call. Good information. Uh no leasing, so no ten ninety nine straight out the gate. You have to live in the Ohio area because you know they don't they they go in a lot of areas, but they don't hire out of a lot of areas. They want to get you guys home every week so y'all can enjoy your weekend. Um Midwest, some south. But overall, small family, sound like a family-oriented company. Uh, you guys can get in, do the damn thing, and get out, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. What do you guys think of that call? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get a dialogue going about this company right here. If you guys like this video and this, it helps you out and it brings you value, make sure you hit that like button. And that's what's up. If you guys do go over to Continental Express. Let them know that Lockout Men sent you. And if anybody from Continental Express drives for them, come on board and let us know how the company treats you. All right. Again, if you guys want to know what the next call will be, get your suggestions in now. Let me know who you want me to call next. It probably might be on the next call. I don't know. Uh, support the channel, support the cause, and until next time, yeah, until next time, I'm gone. You guys take it easy. Peace.